and he he be told the baby he's like the baby do you like change the baby's <laughs> like the baby was like yeah i love change change is necessary he says so why do you keep rapping the same on every try in government i think once you hit 55 that's it that's over with you don't get out of here it's like the people that, that uh quit smoking cigarettes and then they become the most anti-smoking person around <laughs> Welcome to the One Up Podcast, a place where we talk sports, movies, video games, and everything else under the sun. I am your host, El Caballo. Here with me are my co-hosts, DJ Doey Fresh, the Texas one without a gun, Mateo, and last but not least, Baldwin the Great One, Pucho. And if you're new to our channel, please show some love by hitting the share button, like, and subscribe. And if you're a returning One Up gang member, thank you for continuously one-upping yourself. This episode, we're talking toxic traits, top 10 Tony's movies, and old people, should they really be in the government? What if I you started doing the there? Ricky Bobby thing and I just didn't know what to do with my hands during the, like, the interview? Like, <laughs> Oh, I'm thinking like you about to do clap sync. So like, what is he doing? He's trying to clap sync again? What the hell's going on? <laughs> I got some um I got some breaking news guys. Yeah. Rapper Superstar Pride has been denied bond after he was arrested last week for the murder of his barber. That's from Barber Wars. It's a real Barber Wars. If you cool. see this guys, if you look up Superstar Pride haircut, uh, you will see why he shot his barber. Who is Superstar Pride? I have no yeah, idea. Who? Apparently some guy who shot his barber. I just don't know what, what news channel you are subscribed to that it's you called, get these it's black guys. It's black, black Twitter. How you like that haircut he got? Looks like it's only half his head got cut. <laughs> it's, it's not like a West Coast, a West Coast is, vibe or is something? This like, or? Is this a, a mullet? Is this like a variation on a mullet? It's a I have mullet. no idea. Um, I think that is a Texas style. Yeah, if you, if, yeah, I think that's like I a Houston, Texas. Texas. Yeah, I've seen the uh, I've seen the Mexican dudes that are like in here in Texas. They get like all their head shaved except for like the front, like a little like a poof up front, and they do. Oh, things they with do. That. Yeah, weird. I, I I remember the old the old cattail shit in the back of their head. Mm -hmm. Another weird thing. Whatever. It's not that Roy head. Jones used to maybe it was a Pensacola thing. He would get like a. Uh, I don't know, like a like a skin fade, right? So he had hair on the top, and all his sides were basically completely shaved. But at the base of his neck, there was just like a strip of hair. And I'm like, <laughs> what is that about? It'd be a line of hair, and I'm like, it looks atrocious. I've never seen anything like that. That's weird. Dude, that's his I've only off. seen Roy Jones with that, but he's literally the only person that I know. I don't know him that I've seen from Pensacola. That's his cutoff point. That's where. All shit just yeah. stops. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Remember we were talking about <laughs> how far should a barber go? It's right there. That's his limit. That's why he has the strip of hair. <laughs> <laughs> um, I do want to say one thing. Um, obviously, the fans know that I wasn't there for the one-up review on the music album. Recording by yourself and constantly looking at the camera is very, very difficult. I don't think you guys really understand. It's... Like even me doing it now feels so weird doing it, but it was a challenge, and it, I and it's an interesting <laughs> thing to try to adjust to, dude. Even with my new camera setup, like I'm trying to like look at the camera more, and it is weird. Like I see y'all moving here in my peripheral, but I'm trying to look at the camera. Yeah. It's weird stuff, dude. Yeah, it's like I shout out to all those those streamers who do it all day every day. Like that's mm -hmm. it's that's a something you gotta learn to do. That's that's crazy, very difficult. Speaking about cameras. Hmm. Tony, you should point your camera a little lower. <laughs> yes. Trust me. Just do it. Um, just a little bit. Just a little. Right there. Right there. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. Because you were looking like a fucking dwarf in the shorts last week. Because you, you were like mad low. I was like, this shit looks terrible. You cut from <laughs> I cut from Doey's face to your face, and Doey looks like a man. And then boom, you're like a little boy on the podcast with a beard. I'm wow. like, this shit looks horrible. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Now there's no way I, I was like, man, should I fucking stretch this image? Tony will like it. It'll make you look thinner and everything. But... <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. I wanted to ask you guys, have you guys seen the industry plant of podcasts lately? The what? With Bobby? Is, with Bobby? With Bobby. There's this girl named Bobby Altoff. She just started a podcast like a month ago. Mm-hmm. She's got like 500,000 subs, which is Crazy. cool. Not No hating. Beautiful. But right off the jump, she got um drake jack gleason or something he's a funny ass comedian she got drake she got Lil yachty she got um is, is this the one where she armani does, white is this the one where she does like the interviews in her bed or something like that like drake was in the bed yachty was in the couch uh the other guy i forgot where was that she interviews people i think wherever they're at so she travels around to interview them mm-hmm. um and she plays like this weird bit. They're good. So I'm not hating at all. Yeah. She it, she deserves and maybe maybe she doesn't, right? Because maybe <laughs> maybe it's the people she's interviewing, right? She's interviewing interesting people, so maybe that helps. But she's playing this bit of like this like rude, uninterested interviewer. Mm-hmm. It's just very strange to watch. The people it's- the people sitting there and talking to her like i wonder if there's a conversation beforehand where she's like completely normal telling them yo i'm gonna play a bit because like pretty soon into the interview they pick up and they also it's like this interview where both the interview the interviewer and the interviewee are assholes to each other the whole time and it's nice i like people being mean so it's just a nice i've been i've been enjoying them she gets refreshing um it's called deadpan comedy it's a form of comedy. She's just doing like a style of it. Yeah, they do the same thing that uh, the dude that was in um, the Las Vegas movie. What, what is it where they all pass out? Um, the Hangover? The Hangover. The fat guy with the glasses. Is that Galifianakis? Yes, exactly. He does interviews with actors and stuff like that and comedians and he just clowns them with the same thing. That's where she got it from. And it's great. Yeah, but I he's think- making jokes, and he be laughing at his own jokes and shit. She yeah. doesn't chuckle one time in the whole podcast. She's Strong. playing like a very... That's also impressive, because she be yeah. saying some funny shit that I was like, I would have lost it right here. Like, I would have I would have lost it already. Yeah, I, I um, like watching it. I've been watching her, her stuff, too, though. Yeah. So, shout out to her, even though she's an industry plant. She's I like a that, good yeah. one. I like Z-Way. Does- she, Z-Way did, uh, d- did some fun interviews. Her one with Chet Hanks is wild, dude. Did, have y'all ever watched any of uh, the interviews that she does? It's the the, mm. the black girl, right? Mm-hmm. Yes, I've seen some of it. Yeah, she kind of does the same thing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah um, like she, she brought Hannibal Burris on and she said, uh, she asked him, uh, <laughs> what, what advice would you have for young comedians coming up who aren't shitty landlords like you? And oh, his and his answer was like, you know, just live in the moment. And then he cut. And then it like he processed what she said and what she actually has. <laughs> so good, dude. She she makes great. She does great interviews. <laughs> Tony, you're laughing because Doy was about to start, but then Mateo kept talking. That too, but <laughs> his stance was funny. Look, he was in a duck a few buck video. He was like this. <laughs> I'm looking at his arms like, oh. why he got his arms folded like that? Then he interrupted. <laughs> There's a whole mix of things. Sorry, we funny. had a meta conversation about when is it appropriate to cut people off. And I was saying yeah. sometimes you're not done saying things, but people jump in and it, and it's just funny. It happened right there. It's extra complicated um, on the podcast, too, man, because we don't want dead air. So we're all like waiting to jump in. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, it's constant. You know who's the complete opposite of this Bobby Altoff interviewer is Nardwar. Nardwar oh. interviews are he's the most interested in you nobody's more and he's very wholesome everything is very positive Mm -hmm. Uh, if you want if you want to watch a funny interview that's just weird and you don't even know what those going on the bobby all tough stuff is cool but if you want to watch somebody pull out the most obscure facts of whoever person you're interested in like the nardwar guy he the guy is he must have an incredible team of researchers to pull out all this stuff because yep. in the feds, Man. he has feds in there, bro. There's no <laughs> all way. Right, all right, let's talk about the feds. Let's talk about the feds. Okay, let's talk about Nardwar. Is the feds? How many rappers are actually criminals? I would say not many. 
Yeah. It's Why a are they concerned about the feds? Oh, are you with the feds? It's like you're virtue signaling. You're trying to be cool to the people who think that anybody cares about the feds. So why are you worrying what about, about the feds? It's what about, odd shit though that he knows, Pucho. It's like, bro, like he knew what's his name's mother from Canada. Uh, what's Tyler, the creator's mother, and stuff like that. This is a lot of information this guy gets that it's like, what? There's another rapper. He got his what was it? Eighth grade rapper name that he only had for like one day. How the fuck do you get that? Oh, dude, I would say this. I think it's. I, I think. I think it's kind of simple, actually. You. He just has to talk to friends, and then you start going down the rabbit hole of like acquaintances and things like that. And eventually, you end up back at like someone's middle school friends, and they just remember the weirdest shit. Like people would just remember the weirdest shit about you if you were like someone they knew back way back when, right? Yeah, that, I guess. for sure. But also, I think we forget how much information we're putting out of ourselves, like. Yeah. There's a lot of information out there about people. It's like what I tell you when everybody be on some, oh, the, my phone is listening to me BS. <laughs> it's like you don't even know how much, how many other ways there is to get information about you. It's like the idea that your phone is listening to you is probably the last resort anybody would ever try to use. Like, Yo, you know what's, um, I want to go back to the Bobby thing. How does one become an industry plant? How does this get create? Like, how did she get creative? If she is a plant, how is this possible? What's the links? How does it get created? Because I'm always confused on how that starts. So she, well, for like music and stuff like that, it's it's a little bit more complicated. And there's a lot of conspiracy theories. But um, I think in her case, she had a popular TikTok doing like. She was like a mom TikToker or something. Like she was TikToking about like children shit, like mom okay. advice. And she had like this kind of deadpan comedy stuff to her. She had quite a few followers on there. And then I think through certain connections and certain conversations, somebody was like, yo, this would be really cool. Maybe we could do something like this. And maybe got some connections where, you know, maybe she knew someone that had connections to a lot of these like rappers and stuff. And was like, all right, that would be cool. This little white girl that looks like she's not interested at all in hip-hop. Asking these hip-hop people just weird-ass questions and treating them like shit. If you change the gender, if it was a man doing that, a lot of those rappers would want to fight her. Or him, uh, in that case. Like, they would think, like, yo, why are you being so disrespectful? Like, like they're, they're, obviously, there's some that would, like, that would rock with it. But I think... Um, I think there a lot is a of guy uh, as a black dude, Mark DeMarco. He, oh, yeah, there is, there guy, is yeah. A, a black dude that does. T- and, and he he be told the baby, he's like, the baby, do you like change? The baby's <laughs> like, the baby was like, yeah, I love change. Change is necessary. He says, so why do you keep rapping the same on every try? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> and, then, like, <laughs> and then he tried to get him to change his name. Like, why the baby? Like, do you not want to change? And no him? one gets aggressive with him? No, the I think baby looked like under- he got tight. Yeah, some of these people look like they get a little upset. Yeah, because <laughs> I don't think they'll get mad at Bobby. I think they'll just roast her as they should. But. Yeah, Yachty kind of flipped it on her with the N word, which was funny a little bit. Like she, he was pressing her. He was like, "No, I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna say that. I'm not saying that. Don't put that on me." Like, say what, nigga? <laughs> it was just like she got so I mean, he like, didn't flip it on her. He just t- decided to try to <laughs> set her up. For no reason. He's like, you like this song? He started rapping the lyrics, and then he stopped. Oh, no, 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 no. That was Armani White who did that. Her. So two rappers done do that. Armani White was like, oh, you like my song, Billie Eilish? And he started singing some of the bars. He's like, all right, I'm going to sing a bar, then you sing the next one. And the fr- the next one started with the N-word, and she was like, she was like, I ain't falling for that shit. Like, like why are you trying to cancel me? Why are you trying to get me canceled? <laughs> No, I like her interviews though. <clears throat> I can see why she has subscribers. Like, say so Drake was being a little creepy with her. Hey, he, what a he surprise! Trying to drink. He w- It was weird. Uh, like trying to get her to drink his drink. First off, that's creepy <laughs> off the rip. It's like nobody nah. even knows what you're drinking. It's his. And it's then, his drink. 
then trying to tell her drink out of the same side is 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 that yeah, I yeah yeah that's and weird. then when she gave him the glass when she didn't do it she drank out of the other side he grabbed it and then went to her side and drank it. <laughs> he's like now we touch now we're connected it just felt a little bit creepy I was like this and they were so also weird. in a bed that's was even the funnier part about it the, like yeah, the bed doesn't help but but that's Drake's drink I don't know if you know that he got like a drink supposedly. Like mm. No, like I don't know that. And the fact mm. he said supposedly means that you don't really know it either. Well, he Is made a video. He drink? did. It. Yeah, it's a. It's like a wine or some shit. Supposedly, like I don't. I don't have all the facts, but there was a whole video. He made a whole house party thing about it, and it's about this drink. So maybe that's what it was. I I didn't watch the full interview. I only saw clips of that Drake one. But you said a house party thing. Yeah, he had like a house event or some shit. I had the only I thing I've heard from Drake. Is the Utopia song, which is pretty good, where he's like, mm-hmm. "I melt, I melted down all the chains your bo- I bought from your boss." Apparently, he melted down all the chains Pharrell he bought from Pharrell, and everybody's like, "Oh no, the history, the history!" He bro, melted it. He melted bro, it. Drake's drink, it uh, supposedly it's it's like a cocktail that he makes. <laughs> Drake's drink is just what middle-aged white women drink all day. It is a wine glass filled with, filled with ice, filled with filled three quarters of the way with wine, and then topped with sparkling water. That's just a wine spritzer. This is just what middle-aged white women drink all day when they're retired. I mean, he (laughs) did say. I think he says it's a white woman's drink, so he acknowledges it. I don't know. The whole internet calling a Drake's drink is a little weird. It looked refreshing as fuck. I would have drank that it's shit. Just a, it's just not, a Probably not from his glass. <laughs> from his side of the glass or the glass? Just, I don't think I'd want to share a cup with most people. I only share a glass with people I'm close with and very circumstantially. With. Out of everybody here, I feel like Doughboy would be the one to share a glass with anybody. I don't know why. I, do I don't so. know. There's also something weird. When it comes to alcohol... I'll be like, yo, this beer is good. Taste it. And I'll hand people the drink. And that doesn't bug me as much. But, like, imagine someone tries to share a glass of milk with you. That's offensive. That would be disgusting. That would be gross. Why a cup of milk, though? Something about milk makes it extra gross, dude. You you don't share milk. Like, milk is just one of those things I feel like you don't share. I pulled a pucho yesterday and was immediately upset. So there's milk in my refrigerator, right? Mm-hmm. I see the date. I was like, oh, this is two days expired. Get rid of it. I was like, eh. The smell test. Pucho said the smell test usually good, right? So I pour a little bit in the cup. Take a whiff. But I said, fuck Pucho. I poured that shit down the fucking drain. I was immediately upset. I'm like, I know better. But I said, let me see what this man's talking about. So this, I think Pucho drinks spoiled milk, bro, did, all did, the time. Did you give it two smells? One was enough. <laughs> How were you sure then that, that your brain wasn't tricking you? Mm-hmm. So now there's a two smell test test. Now we got to do two combination. smells. A combination. Have you seen that yet? No. The, I want to know the, what this is about. It's the freestyle. So basically there was a freestyle Drake put out with Central C like last week. Oh, and yeah. In the beginning, he says combination. And then everybody took that little part and said, what do you want? You want the lamb or the gyro? And he's, they put combination. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know that's what that was. I didn't catch that. Though. I got to go back and watch it. Yeah, it's pretty funny. Uh, it's a pretty good um, freestyle. freestyle too. Yeah, Central C, I didn't know who this guy was. He's the Doja Cat guy. Hey, Doja Cat. <laughs> How can what I be homophobic? Or or my bitch is gay. That's him, um, bro. When when you go to halal guys, you can get lamb and gyro. You can get the combo. Mm-hmm. That's just called a like combination. STD. Like lamb the sandwich. Ch- they call that shit a sandwich. The sandwich mm-hmm. and platter. A platter. If you get the platter, you can get gyro meat and chicken. Mm-hmm. And the combination of oh, the two. lamb Com- and chicken combination. The combination. <laughs> lamb and chicken. Lamb and chicken, yeah. That's sorry, oh, I don't sorry. you're saying lamb and gyro. I'm like, no, I said, I said gyro and chicken, yeah. My bad. No, you said lamb and gyro. Lambro? Lamb, Lamborghini? I don't know. Oh, I don't know. Words again. Who? Yeah. Hello, guys. Yo, I'll be putting two packets of hot sauce. Yo, Crazy hot. Ooh. You mm-hmm. must, like, it's your hot. head must get hot, right? Like, you it's start hot. to sweat. I'll like, be putting why? two packets of white, two packets of red. That's what I do. We got that too. You got to oh do double, God. double on both, man. It's so I good. I do get a little. I do get extra rice though. I like extra, I like yes. rice. Rice is my mm-hmm. favorite. 
Rice might be my favorite food in the world. I've, I've have, <laughs> as a Hispanic person, or I've eaten quite a lot of rice, but I've been getting a growing appreciation for rice. I've been eating the jasmine rice. I've mm. been eating whatever mm, the hell they do with the halal good. rice. It's probably also like a jasmine or a basmati or something like that. Coming from a fat guy, cauli- cauliflower rice is pretty No, go to hell. The mm. Japanese wow. rice, on point. This man don't know nothing about Lately, I, yo, I, I bought the... Oh, man, you guys got to get on this. The the what do they call it the spicy garlic crunch or something it's a like a, it, it's a hot oil like the asian like chinese hot oil mm-hmm. which is just an oil with a lot of red pepper flakes and stuff and they got big chunks of like crispy fried garlic nice. and now i'll just make some white japanese rice i'll throw a bunch of that on top and then a bunch of chopped up chicken that's been my favorite meal for the last two weeks just plain white rice not even any salt with this spicy crunch and then just some well seasoned chicken, it's so delicious. And then you gotta eat it with the chopsticks. You gotta eat it. Sounds, sounds like these legit. fat ass, fat ass somebody Americans. Like, that somebody fat ass these, American. You sound like these fat ass Americans that eat all these Lay's chips with different flavors in it. Ice cream Lay's, fucking. This is the complete opposite. Duck sauce of that. Lay's. No, all these different flavor oils and shit for the rice. It's just rice. Different it's size, a hot sauce. different width. What are you even talking about? You just said it was an oil. It's hot. It's yes. It's a hot sauce. My cousin used to eat white rice with ketchup. Yes, yeah, we've come a long way from that. Yellow that's rice. A, that's, a body, that's, a that's a body. That's a body standard. That Grown is. bodies do it till this day. That is a but fact. Most I of the Hispanic haven't. kid children grow out of that. Dominican found, people still do it too. Booch, I found a ramen noodle hack that you might like. Ooh. I, yeah, I will facts. tag you. Thank you I'm Boots. gonna tag you right now. Don't worry. Thank I'll tag you. you right a now. real Dominican person. Yeah, a, a real, f- a real person. Like an him. online personality. Potato. And he's following like, him. I follow him. You follow Tato. him. Mm-hmm. Send the link. An online personality. He don't do this. Send the link though. I like this shit. I got you right now. Dominicans be on that shit. This is to be it, hiding. Absolutely the not. It's a bowl of rice with a happy face as with the, the ketchup. ketchup. The ketchup <laughs> is a happy face. Yeah. It's there to trigger you. That's it. Yeah, he right. He knows his audience. He knows the Dominicans hate that the most. Nah, everybody's That's... saying, get it off my timeline. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> he knows. He's like, I'm a Dominican dude. Dominicans follow me. Let me trigger everybody. Anyways, what were you going to say, uh, Mateo? <laughs> no, there was, this, uh, there was this ramen hack that I found. Where you get like the cup of noodles and you make it normally and you eat like all the all the noodles out of it and then you mm-hmm. screw you just put an egg straight into like the broth and all like the the remaining stuff that remains and you mix it up then you nuke that shit and you just have like a little like a a, a brothy egg scramble to to eat afterwards. Apparently, it's going crazy on like Japanese TikTok right now. I've tried. It, Same. I'm not, I'm not one for the food hacks. The food hacks just feel not good. I can uh, I can get behind some food hacks. I like the ramen ones usually. Ramen hacks are pretty cool. I don't know if you guys seen it. It was all over the web for the last couple of days. One of our uh, government officials, Colin, spaced out during an interview. Gave me this beautiful topic idea. Should there be a limit? to it an age elected official to be in a government should there be an age limit that's what i said <laughs> did i miss the limit <laughs> did i miss the limit part all right how about did you call mitch mcconnell colin <laughs> something like that it, I, I think so i didn't quite recognize isn't it, isn't it, it mitch colin <laughs> isn't oh, it mitch colin it's, it's mitch mcconnell, mitch McConnell. McCollin. Mitch McConnell? I thought it was Mitch McCollin. No D there, but... Wow. Yeah, Mitch McConnell the other day had an interview. And like I think it was giving like out. a press conference or something. And he just froze. Mm-hmm. Like, a stroke standing type. there. Yeah. It's like he a froze. Like human body snatchers. The he alien froze. left his body and left him... Uh, uh, was... Empty shell. He froze like when you eat too many edibles because you don't think you're going to get high and then they all hit you at once and you're just like... <laughs> Yeah, he really looked like the edibles hit, bro. He looked scared. He froze like your mom catching you at 2 a.m. trying to make sandwiches in the kitchen. Facts. And they walk oh. in like, <laughs> what oh. are you doing? 
or you know on the family computer in the living room <laughs> two in the morning <laughs> trying to keep it low Yo, the family computer, is that a thing people have anymore? I don't think it is. I hope not. I, I don't think it is. Not. I think I think now there's like the dad, the dad, mom have a computer or laptop for work or whatever. And then the kids have iPads. Oh, I lied. They have a family computer. <laughs> they're, <laughs> boomers. They're, they're boomers. It doesn't count. My mom and my sisters, bro, they all share this one Apple um, computer. That's <laughs> that's hilarious. I just don't know. Right. Should there be an age limit for people... Serving in the yes. government, I, you think I, yes? yes? Yeah, for sure. Yes, for sure. Absolutely. I lean toward I lean towards yes, but I think mine is more like have them do some kind of cognitive test. The same way I feel about like old people with driver's licenses, do some kind of recertification so we can <laughs> do these old people so that we don't have all these old people on the road like accidentally driving through a Wendy's or whatever. All this these crazy Facts. stories are that we see. I've been have you seen Marjorie years. Taylor Green talk? I think everybody needs a cognitive test. I don't think it's an age problem. Mm -hmm. Man, camera. <laughs> what, what was the, what was that uh, that that uh, Donald Trump thing? You don't remember that? The camera man. The, he's he was talking about the cognitive test they had him do it. It was just like re remembering three words basically. <laughs> <laughs> I think for um, jobs, yeah. I, I think for certain jobs, maybe maybe so. I, I agree with that on with Pucho on that part. Like mm -hmm. different jobs, I think yeah, there needs to be a test. Monthly, yearly, however you want to do it. But when it comes to government officials and old people and doing certain things, yes. I've been saying it for years. Driving, once you hit 50 or 45, take a test. And government, I think once you hit 55, that's it. That's over with. You got to, you can't be elected to be in the government officials, house, whatever the hell it is. You can't be, nope, get out of here. So that's you're changing cutoff. your position. It's not. Old people shouldn't serve in the government. Now it's people need to pass a test to serve in the government. No, both. I think that old people definitely, and I classify old people from sixty and up. That's me. I could be just deleted like eighty percent of the government. Yeah, and then you know once you hit forty five and, and fifty five, you need to take a test. All right. I don't know about all this twenty stuff right now, but I would say like. 50 is way too early. 55 is way too early. How long That's do you like, think these people serve for? I would say that maybe 65, 70 is the, the cutoff limit for me. I don't I don't know. I, I don't know what my specific cutoff is, but Mitch McConnell is 81 years old. That what is, is he doing there? That is a crazy, crazy, crazy age to still be working and trying to do things that involve critical thinking. Put it like this. If you can't trust that man to fly a plane with you in it, you shouldn't be in that house. You can't trust me to fly a plane with you in a, yeah, not a pilot. I can't fly a plane. Well, that backfired. <laughs> yeah, that's a horrible criteria. Yeah. What the hell? That was horrible? Yeah, most people me. can't you fly a plane. You guys wouldn't trust me? I can fly a fucking plane. I would not I trust you to fly a plane. Here. I'm not getting in that plane. Nope. Fuck you guys, bro. <laughs> I don't trust you to fly a plane. I've flown with you in Battlefield, and it's been bad. Battle bit, not Battlefield. In Battlefield... Not Battlefield 4. I don't think I was in a plane with you in Battlefield. It's my, you, you know, in oh, I was with a rando. You know, the flip of this is I don't just want uh, like mentally strong candidates. I want physically strong government officials like Abraham Lincoln, who they said when he was a young man, he could carry a, a heavy, uh, as heavy a load as three ordinary men. One time his neighbor saw him pick up a chicken house and pick it up and just walk down the road carrying it. And it weighed 600 pounds, if not more. No fucking way. <laughs> no way. That would be cool if all of our Congress people, what do we even call them anymore? The Congress fighters. We the Congress fighters. Um, they were all as physically able. I would love to see AOC pick up a 600 pound chicken coop and walk down her street. Imagine that was the, like part of the debate. Like they debated and then they also had chicken coops. They had to go and lift and move as far as they could. <laughs> Your argument is null and void if you can't lift that chicken coop. That's crazy. That's crazy. Um, nah, I think, I think y'all tripping. I think, um, I, I don't, I don't have an age limit. I, I, I feel like, I feel like the age limit thing is weird. Because, mm -hmm. like, I feel like what, what's really being said is we don't trust uh, um, our, the public to vote for the people they actually want. So, like, 
if everybody would have voted for an 81 year old Mitch McConnell, y'all saying, nah, we don't care what they would have voted for. We just don't want 81 year old people serving in Congress. I think, I mean, part of it is like the machine, right? Part of it is the political machine itself. Like, uh, you're not necessarily getting the candidate that mostly aligns to you in your area, your district, whatever, right? Like it's it's part of uh, the GOP, the the DNC, like running focus groups and testing and figuring out this is the candidate that's going to be able to win in this area. This is the best candidate for this area rather than aligning it to the people necessarily. They're just trying to maintain seats, maintain power, right? I mean, well, sort of, but isn't the candidate that's most likely to win in that area the one that maybe – aligns most with the majority of people there maybe like, maybe like as a as an average not like any one individual person but maybe somebody's like i really care about these two issues and i don't care about these other 10 but like as a collective that thing that they focus group is the most average position out of everybody don't, Honestly, we, think- don't we need some of the more like uh like maybe atypical voices to see progress though like if you're just like aiming straight for like the centrist line are you making political progress or is, or is the country's baseline just staying the same is it why we've been trying to solve racism for you know several hundred years because we're just aiming for like the baseline right down the middle kind of opinions on things i think we're just still racist yeah that's, that's, that is also fair <laughs> i <laughs> think like fair. i i think i i i think yeah as i think the people change slowly but they change and then i think that the political machine aims at that new average um which is why occasionally you get these like progressive waves you know Mm -hmm. um but even still uh... people like if the most progressive candidates didn't win you know people like aoc they they're looked at as socialists they're not really socialists like if you look at all her positions she's pretty staunchly a capitalist she's mm-hmm. just believes in a lot of social welfare you know um, i think you you looking at it from a different uh way pooch like if you're worried about um like the age limit and, and them aligning with your voting like if you kick if a 60 year old 80 year old man is like voting for something i like if that's what you're worried about, then it's going to benefit you to kick the older people off the, the list because all the younger people are going to be more aligned with what society is moving towards. That's the problem now. All these old guys and old women and all that are in the office, they still stuck in their old ways. And there's a lot of blockage there. If you get but, more of the younger crowd in, a benefit. But they're getting voted it's not like they got voted in one time 50 years ago and they're just there it doesn't work like that like senator term limits are pretty long i'll give you that but even still they have their elections and then people vote for them again Does and there's that- reasons why that happens like people tend to just vote for the person that won the last time people tend to just vote for um the things that their peers and their parents and their friends vote for. So there's maybe not as much critical thinking as maybe I'm like making it seem like there is, but I'm just saying it ain't like these old people got in and they're just in because they got voted in in 1960 something. You know what I mean? It's like people still just vote for them. You know, I don't know. I mean, I there, there, there is like a, like there's a, there's an aspect of this. Cause like, uh, uh john fetterman what 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 happened to him he had a stroke or something something along those lines but i remember that a big part of like his uh his actual campaign itself was uh they he was very he talked about his his medical issues and they confirmed there was no like cognitive damage or anything he had you know obviously his body was physically recovering but his mind was still as active as ever right um but the flip side of that like if they announced tomorrow that joe biden had dementia should he still be the 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 the, the political candidate that's getting Hell pushed in no. the presidential election? Like, even if the people voted for a candidate with dementia, should you be allowed to to be to serve in a in a function like that? If you have like Alzheimer's, dementia, you have something that's actually affecting your ability to make decisions and uh, interact with reality. Nope. I I think if there was documented proof that joe biden had dementia i don't i don't think the democrats would try to run him 
I think I think they'll say like, oh man, the turnout for, from the Democrat from the left is going to be so low, and it's going to embolden the right. They're going to be like, hell no, we don't want a dementia. Bro, imagine in the office. imagine Trump if there was a documented like medical record saying that Joe Biden had dementia. Imagine the fucking Trump attack ads that would come out. The man be falling asleep half the time during speeches, or just being having laps, like moments of like. Almost like this McCollum guy. You really don't. I don't think it's. And I think that maybe there's been some flubs, but I don't think it's anywhere near this level. He has I mean, a it's disability. Like, he, he has a stuttering problem. He does have a stuttering problem. That is yeah. like 99% of all the things that the internet tries to poke fun at Biden about. And he's old as hell. He's like, he's like pushing 80. He's like 77 or something like that. Shit is crazy. And he's going to run again. Mm-hmm. Like, we're going to have an old ass president. Like, I wouldn't vote for him again. Well, but, it sorry, it to respond to Mateo, I, I think there's a balance. I wasn't trying to say that. Um, I wasn't trying to say that, oh, just always trust the people. I think uh-huh. there needs to be balances, right? Like, yeah, if if there's documented proof of some type of thing that would, you know, like if they're in a vegetative state or they have some, you know, dementia i don't know what amount is like i don't know enough about dementia to know what amount is that you're still functional or you're out i don't know yeah um, you got like alzheimer's things like that i think yeah these are t- these are the types of things that i think should disqualify you from participating in decision making mm-hmm. but i i just think age on its own shouldn't be I, I, like, I'm, and I'm, I'm cool with with testing people. Like, if you had like a cognitive test, like, hey, do this little IQ test. If you could get above some t- super low value, then you know whatever. Yeah, you could run for office. But even that makes me feel uncomfortable. Yeah, like if it was just straight up IQ, I, I would feel uncomfortable with that. Um, but some kind of like, if you have a medical issue that could cause cognitive issues and your ability to decision make or something, I don't know. I feel like there should be, there should be some like openness with like medical records. If you are, if you are per, a person in the government that could potentially have to have some kind of a condition that would affect your decision making ability. Yeah, I, I think there needs to be a test. A test. Like I'm sure, and- I'm sure. Remember. Um, Bernie Sanders, he had them heart stints or them oh, mm-hmm. things like that. He had them heart surgeries. The and stuff. I'm sure that negatively impacted his campaigning. That people were like, we like Bernie. My mom is one of those people that she liked Bernie Sanders. She didn't vote for Bernie Sanders because she felt like he was too old. Mm-hmm. She was like, I like him, but I'm concerned. Like, you know, if he gets in the presidency and dies or something like that, like that, like, you know, she kind of had that view, which is fine. The voters should totally make those types of decisions. I just don't think that as a whole, we should block someone because they're old. Like, so, yeah, when you look at someone like that who's had three, four, five heart surgeries, you're like, is this really who we want in office? Uh, is it going to be like another FDR where in his last term he was like he was like a dead body and people were still like kind of trying to do things through him for a period of time? Yeah. There was another president like that that he I think he lasted years in the office where nobody even saw him. Like he didn't leave the White House for like two years straight oh, like because wow. he was wow. like. Yeah, uh, and he got I, I don't remember what it was he got so sick and it was like a few years of his um term and then in like the last year he came back out like he was feeling better but there was like a period of time where the first lady was calling all the shots and t- she was the president of the united states I, I can't remember what president this was i'm gonna look it up but Damn, but things like I this never... have happened and it's a valid concern for constituents i just don't think yeah a blanket rule I also want Mitch McConnell to get the fuck out of Congress, but I don't think it's the way. Facts. I don't think it's the right way. Same. Same thing happens in radio. Same thing happens in a lot of these industries where you have some really old people at the top that have been there for a really, really long time. And you're like, dude, you need to uh, go out into the sunset and enjoy the rest of your life and leave this place. I think um, it's very different, though. Radio versus political fucking issues. No, you'll like, have somebody. You'll have somebody sit in a seat in a radio station and be their main guy for like thirty fucking years, forty years, and the shit is just like no wonder that shit is dying. It shit is stale and stagnant, 
And uh, you got the same people on there from for 10 years, 15 years. I guess what I'm saying is more like of an importance. Like, I don't give a damn about some old head in a radio station versus a president or a congressman. But, yeah, I would see how you just need a new refresh, a new facelift, I guess, is what you would say. Like, let's get right out with the old and with the new type thing, what you're, I guess, coming with with the DJ yeah. or radio. But, no, yeah, I mean, it's definitely, I know Pucho was saying, too, the ages or these groups of people that just hate old people for just because they're old. Yeah, I don't, I don't think they'd call themselves ageists. It's like, I know, I'm saying it's that's like what racist. It's just ageist, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But yeah, go ahead. Um, I think that, uh, like, I don't hate old people, but I find them being in certain things a very crucial part that they shouldn't really be a part of. Like, work, like, certain jobs, I, I honestly think that old people shouldn't be doing. It's just, this is just, it's just things that messes up the flow. And what? And if it's a crucial, what, what jobs are you talking? Are you talking about like bagging groceries? What? What is? What are they no. doing that's ro- that's messing up your flow? <laughs> For example, right? Let's just say in a hospital, mm-hmm. in a in a lobby, the the lobby person's old as hell. You're trying to get to a room. You're trying to figure out. And she's just like, oh, yeah, uh, what room was it? Like stuff like that. Like jobs where you need information. Jobs where you, you like, you got to be kind of quick. Putting an old people, old person there is not a, a spot for them. It's really not. That's like you know, anything that needs some speed. Yeah. Nah, so you're, can't you're put old person ages. there. I would say that as long it's as crazy. they can perform the duties of the job, they should be able to work it. I don't think the age matters. So if you can't move fast enough, that's not performing. That's not doing. That. That's against what you're saying right now. Yeah, they shouldn't work if they can't perform the ju- duties of the job. So you think that uh, an old person should work at Chipotle? Like a they line of old people? They could perform the duties of the job. They should work at Chipotle. Any, anybody could do it slow, but if you got to speed it up. I mean, if speed is a factor. Like at Target, cashiers need to be a certain speed. They grade you on every single transaction. Mm-hmm. Uh, if, a, if an old person can, isn't capable of meeting that demand then I don't think that old person should work there. But I'm also just speaking about people in general. If there there were young people I worked with when I worked at Target that they couldn't keep up with the speed of of doing the trans the cashier transactions that quick, they probably shouldn't be a cashier. I don't know. I, how I just I, don't think you should make a blanket age about age. But. I used to be a cashier. I don't know how anybody I I should have been fired. I don't know, but I guess they never <laughs> figured me out. Um, like when my family friends would come in the line, I charge them for like five things and then fake charge them for everything else. <laughs> They'd get like half of their stuff for free. Allegedly. Were, were you just making the beeping sound with your mouth? Beep. Yeah. <laughs> that's crazy. That's yeah. that's some other shit. But I don't know. I don't I don't consider myself ageist, but I know that's what I told you. The ages wouldn't call themselves ages, but that's <laughs> what I said. Fuck up, <laughs> I, Mateo hates old people, but he's not an ages. I don't. Yeah, I, 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 hate, old I hate old people. I'm just saying that. I'm people. just saying I that love... I want. I want my presidential candidate to be able to hold an axe out, using only his thumb and forefinger for a full minute, Get Tony, like our man here, Abraham Lincoln. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here! Like that. Like that. <laughs> for a minute. Oh, like that? Mm-hmm. Yeah, just your thumb, clenched up. For a full minute. That's a all strong right. dude. They're giving him Jesus level <laughs> fucking chair, all right? This Jesus didn't like... have strength. He had durability. Those are mm-hmm. different abilities. It just uh, sounded like <laughs> you shot him down. <laughs> <laughs> he blanked out. I feel Eddie like uh, I feel like at the end of Jesus' life when they were at his funeral. I just felt like everybody had a story about Jesus and everybody started to like lie a little bit more. Like, oh, you know, well, you know, he came to my house and he healed my son. Well, he turned he wine into this water. And yeah. his eyes came back. Yeah. So he, he I saw him walk on water. The other night we were having dinner, he turned water into wine, yeah, son. Yeah. He took wine. Yeah. So- <laughs> 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 that's the aim effect. That's what we're gonna call that shit. I think that's what happened. 
Here's another one that I think all you guys would like. Tony's top 10 movies of all time. I don't have 10 off the rip, but I'm going to give you maybe a solid 8, maybe 7. Why call it a top 10? (laughs) Call it a top 8. Because it could be 10. I might find two, two more, but we will top eight. We'll I feel like eight. I feel like this is just proven to Pucho's point that Tony doesn't watch no, movies. No, he's trying he to. He, don't he can't have, come up with top 10 movies. He can't even Off name the 10. rip. <laughs> Literally, whatever. Have you, you seen 10 movies, Mateo? Mm, Earlier. Man, I don't know if I've ever okay. seen even 10 movies. Earlier, Dovey said he assholes. finally finished Godfather 2. Do you finally yeah. know what it means to be referred to as a Fredo? Yes. Yes, I do. Do you understand now when Nas says, what did he say? You put All one hand on me. He said, you put a hand on me, I'm going to put two on you. Because Michael grabbed Fredo like that with two hands. You could knock like a man. And, Fredo, and then he Fredo kissed him. Now you know what a Fredo kiss is. Mm-hmm. Oh, he. you mean Michael kissed Fredo? Correct. Yeah. Yeah, that's a Fredo kiss. It's the kiss of death. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Yeah. You do you watch The Godfather? Yeah, I watched it. I, <laughs> s- I saw the scene. I don't. Right. I didn't know these are what things I wanted to talk these about. That on, they meant. These are things I wanted to talk about during the Magic Two review, but I couldn't because you know. Well, he didn't I'm watch respe- it. Though he hadn't watched The Godfather yet. Yeah, that's fair. 1970 something movie but i'm gonna respect it these are the best movies of all time in my opinion so. uh i would definitely put them in timeless the timeless pieces they were they were made in the 70s but they really don't feel like an old movie you obviously are watching an old movie i don't know something about maybe the remaster versions they just look great hmm. have you watched 2001 a space odyssey no also timeless yeah incredible you watch that movie you feel like it was made like last decade except people old, back in the day 70s people they just look like they're from the 70s you know what i mean <laughs> they just look like that guy is from the 70s you could they have like a lot of blemishes and stuff like nowadays we we need actors to be so perfect yeah we, like, we cake them in, in makeup <laughs> back in the day it felt so like perfect. anybody like regular people were actors 70s, actors, 70s actors all look like modern day British actors because British actors also just kind of look like regular people. Yeah, the British people just be looking regular. That's why they look all ugly and shit. You'd be like, look at this dusty looking mother. <laughs> no. All right, go ahead, Tony. Hit us with your top 10. Your top wait, 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 wait. Before right, I have an important question How many celebrities do you think the throat goat Nancy Reagan blew <laughs> in the back lot in the Hollywood? How many? How you think she was popular? I think that if Abraham Lincoln had been around at the same time as Nancy Reagan, she would have tried, but he would have thrown her much like he oh threw this man God. 12 feet. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> That's what I'm talking Abe about. Abe Lincoln once threw a man 12 feet with one hand during mm-hmm. a wrestling match. Deacon. <laughs> and Abraham Lincoln never told a lie. That's true. That's a lie. So they called him honest Abe. Mm-hmm. So I was telling Tony, Tony's like, that's a lie. Everybody lies. I'm like, nah, Abe. That's why they don't call you Honest Tone. <laughs> I've never heard anyone call him Honest Tone. Not once. Yeah, Let's never. not be dicks here to Tones, honestly, all right? <laughs> all right. Never once told a lie that I didn't have to, all right? Yeah. That's the Let's honest. Let's get this I honest top, to. top eight. <laughs> all right. Let's get so, these honest top eight fucking movies. And they're not in any order one through eight. It's just... That, that's that's like fair. It. I feel like that shit is impossible to yeah, like actually categorize. Do bah, 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 nah, fuck out of here. Mm-hmm. All right. First one on my list Toy Story. I'm going back from my old kid days all the way to now, right? <clears throat> good Lion mo- King will be up there as well. Toy Story is a good Toy Story is a good pick. I don't know if it would go on my top ten of all time. It's not a bad pick though. I, I can't I can't it's actually talk any pick. smack about that one. Not only is it a good pick, but it changed the game. Mm-hmm. It, Toy Story is literally the movie that ushered in the age of the Pixar style movie. That, that they literally changed the game with that three D animation um, mm-hmm. instead of oh. like anime, like illustration. True, true, true. Yep. I do have one question for you, Tony. Go ahead. Did you I you just like it. snuck Lion King in there? So those are two movies now. Those. Well, I put them Treat both in the same respect. category. I, I, put them, I put them together. I don't want to waste a spot. 
Yeah, all right. Lion King be number two then. If that's I'm just no, I'm not saying that I want it to be number two. I'm just saying you said Toy Story and then you said Lion King will also be in there. What, what does yeah, that I mean? Put the, I would. I, I'm saying like I'll put them both together. Like both like a. I don't want to waste a spot. So two for one. Yeah, two for one. You you're muted. I think. Are they one entry into your top eight? Or are they two entries? There'll be two entries. Right, I'm gonna have treat a top them with ten. Respect. Then. I'm you gonna say, have a top ten. You say Toy Story. You let us have our little comments. Both, then you say Lion yeah. King. You you, you you about to give us the uh, whole thing in two minutes. To. No. Mm-hmm. Tony's All gonna right. be like, and our third topic. He's just gonna <laughs> be out of here. Like, nah. I don't. I don't and know I, the. I don't know that Lion King would be my like classic Disney animation pick. But it, I mean, it's also not a bad pick either, right? The reason why I'm going to give you the reason why Lion King number two mm-hmm. on my list is because that's the first time I felt sadness as a kid, bro. It affected mm. me. Like. So I'm picking movies that it, like affected me or, or impacted me in a way where I would never forget the movie. So it's definitely one of those that impacted me. Watching Mufasa obviously died. Let's say you can get a time machine, go back in time, and go to like a bunch of openings of The Lion King. <sighs> How many kids you think are crying during that movie when Mufasa dies? All of them. Yeah, nah. <laughs> even the parents. <laughs> Has to be. All right. I I think Lion King's a good pick. Mm-hmm. Uh, Fantastic soundtrack, <sighs> animation. They stole you know, subpar. You watch Kimba the White Lion. That's the real Lion King. All right, <laughs> don't, don't let these Lion King people tell you otherwise. All right, ah, it got more hype. The story, it's... straight out of Shakespeare, right? That's what they say. It's a Ma- it's Macbeth or mm-hmm. oh no, Hamlet. It's a retelling of Hamlet. Mm-hmm. Where... Damn, of Hamlet. I didn't know that. Basically, dude offs his pops takes the throne shacks up with the homie's mom and kind of i don't remember how it goes to hamlet he either exiles him or or he convinces him to go away or something like that and then he ends up over here with his hakuna matata shit then he comes back to take it back you know it's a good story a story of revenge i can fuck with it i can fuck with that then i need to watch that then pooch that's fine hamlet yeah there, mu- that's there where must Lion be King multiple came from? movies. There's, there's definitely some good movies of Hamlet. I feel like it's, it's been a, a while. It's a play. That is from like the 1600s. No, I understand. I'm when when it's is a, Shakespeare's uh, time? 1700s. Uh, 1800s. When is Shakespeare from? I feel like it's 1500s or 1600s, right? Alexa, what year is Shakespeare? <laughs> We're yelling at Alexa on the podcast now. That's 1564. Good. 15, 16, yeah, 1500s. Yeah, they're um, that, older than I thought. So how that, bad you think that's people the age smell. of Hamlet. For, you know, it's a, a, a story that's about 500 years old. So it's not like a movie. It's old as hell. That's crazy. What's up, Bill? How bad do you think people smelled in the 1500s? Oh, terrible. Bad. Absolutely terrible. You took a one shower like a year or something. Yeah, I, I don't know. Somebody's <laughs> breath. Yeah, that's pretty bad. Um, Number three. The Matrix. The first one. Love that movie. Instant classic. As soon as I saw it. I fell in love with it. And everything. These are interesting picks. Because like. I don't think that's a bad pick either. I But it, it wouldn't go anywhere near my top 10 movies of all time. The Matrix I think makes it into my top 10. Yeah? Yeah. I think Matrix makes it into that anyway. <laughs> it's gonna get it's so, gonna get funnier as it goes on. i don't know yeah. the matrix doesn't make my list i don't think but wow. i love the matrix mm-hmm. i love sci-fi i love kung fu and action it's like a blending of a lot of things that i like so it, it does well for me i really enjoy the movie it's a movie that anytime it's on i'll sit there and watch it i like it i don't got no problem with that if tony had said um, the animatrix is that a better pick or a worse pick might be a better pick. I would like it as a better pick. It probably right. I feel like better. that. I, feel I would like respect that. it more. I feel like but that you one can't would have a better the... chance of like cracking my top 10, maybe. You can't love that without loving the one where it started. It's true. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. It doesn't matter. It does. It's the creation oh. of Animatrix. Like, for example, right? All the capitalists, they're <laughs> wrong, right? Because Rocky 1 is the movie that captured everybody's hearts. But they love Rocky Four because they defeated communism, right? Like that's that's where our, us, you know, I'm a I, I have a capitalist badge according to Tony. I'm a true capitalist. <laughs> um, this is where my this is where my love resides. Like 
Rocky Balboa defeated communism with his bare hands. Like that, yeah. that only happens in so many movies, if any. I, I've actually never seen any other movie where anyone defeats communism with with the bare hands. He he brings down the 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 Berlin Wall, ends the Soviet Union. It's, it's fantastic. <laughs> <coughs> Number four, Saving Private Ryan. Another, I like war movies, especially back in the days. There's a That's, trend here. I'm going to talk to you about it at the end. At the end of my trend? Yeah, yeah. I like Saving Private Ryan. Fantastic movie. This man's already who, trying to who, destroy who me. Who is it? Is this? Tom Hanks is in Tom it. Hanks. Tom, Tom Hanks. Hanks is the main guy. Oh, no, not Tom Hanks. It has um, Vin Diesel. Vin Diesel. Vin's, Vin's in the is fucking movie, Is this a Spielberg too. movie? It's got yes. Yeah, it is. It's yeah. Steven Spielberg. Matt yeah. Damon? Isn't it Matt Damon? The, Matt. Mm-hmm. Matt's the guy. Yep. yep. Yeah, Matt Damon. This is Tony's he, second Tom Hanks pick, though. Toy Story. Say Apollo thirteen. Toy Story. Yeah, yeah, he is. A, he's a voice actor in Toy he Story. Castaway. <laughs> Castaway. <laughs> Castaway is good. It doesn't make my top ten. Big. Though. <laughs> I'm gonna save all the the crucial ones towards the end, so that way Pucha doesn't destroy me early in the in the game. <laughs> Um, number five, right? Yeah, number five. Terminator. That's and a when good, I say the number, th- that, oh, oh, you're choosing one of the makes, other ones. The number, the number makes sense here. <laughs> Look at Pucho's face. Two, no, three. Oh, oh, thank God. Okay. Two, thank God. All two. Right, all right, all right. Two the is respectable. <laughs> you're wrong, but I respect it. Okay. Uh, two. Even though Terminator 1's great, I love two more. I'll say this too. Tony's got the consensus opinion. I'm in the minority saying Terminator 1 is better. I think Terminator 1 is the better sci-fi movie, honestly. Uh, Terminator 2 is great though, man. It's a good action movie. It's a really good action movie. Three. action movie than the first movie for sure. Mm-hmm. That's why I like effects it. were crazy in that movie. That's why I like it. Bro, they just straight up crash trucks. Like They were like, we'd have this scene where this truck needs to jump down. And they're like, why, why don't we just jump a truck? <laughs> and then they did. <laughs> now, they yeah. love it. They they crash a truck in Terminator One, a semi truck, <laughs> and they crash a pickup truck and a sedan in Terminator One. And that shit looks intense. I'm like, the fact that and that was like a practical <laughs> effect. I'm like, who was in that car? Or like, did they jump out of a moving car? Or like, how did they do this? I, I found that <laughs> impressive. What about the stuntmen that their entire job in movies is just to get set on fire and be like the person oh, on the fire worst. in a scene? <laughs> it could put me out fast. <laughs> Were you going to say something, though? You was going to say something, I think, right? Uh, no. no. Uh, well, I was going to say, like, I, 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 I enjoyed, too. Uh, the, I enjoy everything except for the young kid. You don't, you don't like the, the dialogue? You don't like the him teaching him, hasta la vista, baby. <laughs> It is the weaker part of the <laughs> the movie, but I feel like the action in that movie is really good. But there's some parts in the first movie where I was just like, "All right, this is so fucking crazy." I like. I should have p- trolled. Go ahead. I like the part in two where they basically just become like domestic terrorists. Like they just go and like <laughs> kidnap this man, shoot up his house. Like yeah. the movie is wild. <laughs> yeah, they're doing should've... it to save the day. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Should have trolled I, I wish Terminator three. should stay dark. I didn't like all those daytime scenes. It just doesn't doesn't fit the vibe for me. And the best parts of Terminator Two are all the night scenes. There, it's like yeah. when when the T one thousand is walking through the the psych ward. That shit is crazy. That's great. When Sarah Connor sees the T eight hundred again, could you imagine? This woman went through this experience her her man died during it she had a baby everybody in the world is trying to convince her that she's a nutcase she's in some like insane asylum for like 10 years now and and then she sees the thing that puts her into the situation again and then it's like you know in her back of her mind she had to think a little bit like maybe i am crazy and and i don't know that scene the horror of it everything and then Get really down, good. and then she, you know, he her <laughs> get <and> down. <laughs> I like the, uh, I like the finger. I like the scene where with the where he's got the long finger and it's going through like oh, the head yeah. and like the milk ju- the milk carton all at the same time. Yeah. Um, my next pick, 
This is going to take you guys by surprise a little bit. Forrest Gump. I knew it. It's that, not a surprise. I feel like I that's not a surprise that's either. The, we did discuss it, we did discuss about how you have some boomer adjacent like opinions. Damn. And Forrest Gump is kind of the boomer movie. Like it is just a victory lap for boomers of look at all this cool shit that we did with our generation. <laughs> no, I like it. It's a classic <laughs> movie. Life cycle box of chocolate. It's a classic movie. The man had fucking fucked up legs and it's another time hangs bubble gum. It's another time that accent. What was that accent? I don't know. I don't know where it came <laughs> from. <but> it came. <laughs> That's what I felt like saying. I guess I don't know. But, um uh, a good pick, I think. It's a mm-hmm. fine pick. It's not in my top ten list. It's a good movie. The trend continues. I'm gonna discuss this at the end. The trend. Um, I have a trend now. It's, I'm so trend. curious now about yeah, it. I've, I've also I've vocalized this to you, but yeah. You don't want to ruin it? As I'm yeah, just continue, because I feel like you'll change your list after I tell you. No, nah, right, you're so don't say scrambling. nothing. No. Nah. Yeah, all right. Will. Don't say nothing. Just keep it going. Uh, number six? No, seven? <laughs> is it seven? I don't know. I lost count. <laughs> you don't yeah, have yeah, a list thing? <laughs> it's seven. It's, it's, no, it's, I'm it's, saying it all off the top of my head. Number seven. <laughs> <sighs> the Notebook. What? I, the Notebook? I've never seen the, the notebook. notebook. That's a that's a rom com, right? No, it's just a rom. A, a rom. A rom drama. Just rom. Rama? Yeah, just, just a romance. Just a rom. It's a romance yeah. movie. Yeah, very like, sad. Made Mountain. me cry. Just a romance. Whoa! Nowhere near that level, my boy. What's what's wrong, wrong with you? What? Think you broke back mountain. It's nowhere near that. How's that a? They're both romance. The it's movie. a romance Brokeback movie. Mountain's a romance movie. Oh, it is a romance movie. The hell do you think it is? <laughs> That's right. Whoop. Don't even worry Tony's about like it. It's a gay romance. I don't know. Don't nah, put nah, that nah, near nah, me. Nah, nah. Don't what? Hey. Don't do that. I didn't say that. I've never the name, um, the name Brookback Mountain. Do you think that had to be part of it? Whether you know, because you know, I don't know if you guys know, but men, um, gay men, when they do it, <laughs> they do it from the back. <laughs> I don't know oh, how really. Like, what, is, what a surprise! <laughs> <laughs> but the name broke back because they go to the mountain to do it, and you could say one of them was breaking the other one's back. I, I just feel like the name's a joke. It, I feel it like the people be. who made that movie kind of messed up with a name like that because I think a lot of people make fun of that movie. Is it's the, a good movie. Is it's there a, a real movie. mountain called Brokeback Mountain? Is that... I don't no. know, but they should have used a different mountain. Like <laughs> Fixed <laughs> Back or <laughs> Good Back. You know? So so any any thoughts on The Notebook? Because I've never seen it, so I don't, I don't even it's know what to... It's a good movie. Yeah? It is. A, my mom loves it. My ex loves it. I'm not I love so the much. notebook. If it's on, I'll watch it. It's a good movie. It's a classic story. What's the story with the notebook? He falls in love with the chick, then he goes to war, then he comes back. She got another dude. She has another dude. Then they and get together, and the movie goes over pretty much. There's a little drama in there, but the then they the whole thing is like he's an old man, and she got dementia, then she remembers yep. him, and it's just like hey, it's so sad. sappy, sad sappy shit. But it's, it's good. good. It's good stuff. All right, number eight, Jerry Maguire. What? 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 Show me the money. That's a that's a surprise pick. That is a very surprising pick. That movie is good, right? It's been a while since I've seen it, but it is a good movie, right? It's an instant Tony, classic. I feel like there's no way this is your favorite movie. <laughs> Like on your list, like tell, what's the plot of Jerry Maguire? Tell me, please. I hate when he does this. You supposed to save I'm all your, your atta- favorite movie. <laughs> You're supposed to save all your attacks for the end of the show. Like this whole stupid ass thing where you're like, oh, I gotta, I gotta trend. <laughs> I got a no, I'm not supposed to you. save my attack. It's not even an attack. Yes, it's just a it commentary on the picks. I've never watched Jerry Maguire. It First is, off, to answer your question, I'm pretty sure Jerry Maguire won an Oscar in some uh, capacity. I know Cuba uh, Gooding was won nominated. Best Supporting. I think it was nominated for that movie. It's a good movie. It's good. It's another romance movie. It's just all of it. It's a romance movie. 
too long. The movie's too long. It could it's be cut down like long, thirty minutes. What? Isn't it an hour twenty? Oh my God, no, Jerry Maguire. Oh. I, if it's not longer uh, than two, I think two, it's an hour and twenty. Hold on. If it's what? not longer than two, then I think hmm. it's an hour. And what two. is the plot of Jerry Maguire? Two he, hours and nineteen minutes. He, he's a he's a oh, sports. Well, I don't want no. I want Tony to tell me what the plot is. Wow, it is two hours. <laughs> Mattel does it again. You be inadvertently trying to bail. Tony. Look at the, uh, he's I'm, looking I'm, at I'm, the summary I'm right now. now the if I, I, don't look, I, don't. I see the Wikipedia page because it's no, the yeah, only white thing. Wikipedia is the only white website right up here. Yeah. A. I had to look up the time. It's one thirty nine, to be exact. One hundred and thirty nine minutes is yeah. how long the film is. It's not two hours like, and nineteen minutes. Not fucking two hours and thirty minutes, like you said. I never gave a runtime. <laughs> I said it's longer than two hours, and it could be shortened by thirty minutes. That movie's long as hell. He's, you know what uh, it is. He's trying to get me going so he could buy time to read nope. the plot. I'm mm-hmm. not gonna read the plot. I don't. We can see we can see Wikipedia in your glasses. We can see it. Yo, let me show you. There's no Wikipedia. I would love to fucking flip this camera, but I'm not gonna ruin it. All right, next one. So you're not gonna tell me the plot? No, I'm not gonna give you that. All right, then you. Yeah. All right. This list is bogus. No, it's not. That's great. One out of the whole entire list. Now it's bogus. My next one. Number nueve. Goodfellas. Doey's dying. Doey, dude, that one hit Doey physically. What's going on over there? He's only watched it once. <laughs> he only will watch it once. I, and I it's said his I favorite would, movie. Wait, wait. I said I would only his watch one, it. Only one yes. time. <laughs> yes. It's one it and done. He's seen it one time. Favorite movie. That's it. That's it. I'll tell you this. <laughs> Goodfellas is good. I've seen it multiple times. Not my favorite. I couldn't tell you the plot of Goodfellas. See, I own that. Mm-hmm. I don't. I couldn't tell you the plot. I don't even remember. Is Goodfellas with Ray Liotta? No, Ray Liotta's in both. Yes, is he in Casino yes. as well? He, he's, a, he's in Goodfellas. Casino's a good one, too. It's uh, Ray Liotta. I don't remember that. Though. De Niro, I think it's Joe Pesci. Casino. Is Ray Liotta a cop in this movie? No, but, no, he, but he, go, he, he goes into witness protection at the end, though. See, he's a snitch. Mm-hmm. He's a rat. All right, for yeah, my last I, I, one, I couldn't tell you the plot of Goodfellas, and I've seen this movie dozens of times. I just don't even. I, yeah. Maybe Tony really likes the Good Feathers from the Animaniacs show. So, the like, that's feathers. where his love of Goodfellas comes from. You remember those guys? Wow. They were the pigeons. They were the play with yeah. like pigeon mafia dudes. The yeah. dirty birds. The dirty birds. <laughs> All right, for my final pick, it's going to be a doozy. Inception. Okay, I can get with this one. The trend continued. I now, don't think I've ever watched Inception in one go. I've watched like you can't. You have to watch it thirty minutes times. from like the middle of Inception, oh. and then I watch like the the first like forty minutes of the movie, and then I watch like the last like, fifty minutes of the movie. I never went yeah, out of my way up. to watch Inception, so I just watched it in sections. Nah, yeah, you fucked up. <laughs> Gotta watch it all at once and then rewatch it. Inception, good pick, good movie. Not your top, I get it. Christopher Nolan, you know, fire director, good what? cast. Once again, talking good. about crazy director Tom stuff. Hardy. The, the, the crazy director stuff, dude. They were like, we're, we need to have a fight in a hallway, and the hallway needs to be rotating. They're like, how can we do this with CGI magic? And Nolan's just like, nah, just rotate a hallway, and we'll, you'll just fight in this hallway. And they built a rig to rotate this entire hallway. It's crazy stuff, dude. I, I, Nolan's I, I, goaded. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I wish I could do a top 10. We you could, don't have to wish it. We have a podcast, <laughs> so you could just make it a top. Make, make, I'm the only one that gets top tens around here of anything. I'd, I'd be curious Crazy. to hear your top ten. Mine, mine's going to be tough if I do a top ten. There were know. zero horror movies in that list, Tony. No, yeah, you don't want I, nothing I, I to didn't. scare you? Nothing? No, you don't want excitement in your life? I'm not a super life? fan of horror films. Not going to lie. I like old fighting I, movies or old war movies. Um I like kids' movies because that just touched me as a kid growing up. So some of them I just won't forget. It was hard, too, because it was either Land Before Time or Lion King. And Lion King obviously won There's that. nothing funny yeah. in there, either. Like, really uh, funny. Ha-ha. Jerry Maguire, dude, it's hilarious. 
No, it's not hilarious. Um, I would say not having hard on your list is the, one of the only good takes Tony has. Horror movies suck. There's a people lot of- who like horror movies suck. The people that are like, I just love <laughs> horror movies. That's all I want to watch. I don't want like those people. All of top ten movies. <laughs> there are there are a lot of bad ones out there. I've been doing this thing lately where like. Uh, to end my night, I've been putting on like a movie from like Amazon or something, and I'm usually putting on something from like like some kind of goofy horror movie just for background noise. There are so many bad horror movies, dude. There are some really, really terrible ones. So what's this trend? So yeah, there are a few trends, right? <coughs> One, you have a recency bias. I think the oldest movie on your list might be Toy Story, right? It's like you're a 90s and up. I think Jerry Jerry is older than Toy Story, isn't it? Nah. Jerry Maguire is from 96. Yo, oh, I got it. See, I'm the man. Um, Toy Story is 92. Goodfellas, 1990. 90, wait, when did Toy Story 1 come out? 95. Okay, so then Goodfellas is probably 92. 90. 90. Okay, that's your old <coughs> movie. But it's just a, it's a new, you know what I mean? You got a modern. Mute yourself. Got, Sorry. Yeah, this you motherfucker been coughing the whole the I whole muted like topic all too. of the fucking things. Nah, I don't right. think it's <laughs> most of the time, this dude's tripping. <laughs> yeah, that was absurd. Um Yeah, all the movies are like nineties and up. So it's a very very modern list. Also, aside from Jerry Maguire, which is an incredibly popular movie at that time, but it just hasn't held the test of time in terms of popularity other than that one pick every single movie on your pick is just a popular the the zeitgeist of the time like the most popular movies of that time so you have like a a very um uh a milk toast opinions like you don't really have any interesting picks it's all like the most popular movie is the one you go with like inception was all the all the movies you listed That's were crazy. humongous that's crazy yeah, because it's everything that I took personally. Like I have a like a, I guess not an emotional attachment, but this is it just touched me in a way that I liked it, and enjoyed it. Yeah, that's fine. I didn't, I didn't. I'm not saying it as a bad. The way you say no, it, I milk, guess milk toast, toast is, is like. Negative. Well, it's like plain negative. or common. It's the the mo- these movies that are big. They're big because they're obviously good, but they're obviously catering to the biggest common denominator, like. Yeah, the, no- it's, it's, the the Notebook and Jerry Maguire are the two most surprising ones on that list. Those are not what I was expecting. I did I could agree. you gave me twenty guesses. And I would Pucho not have guessed was any wrong. of those. And Pucho was wrong because Pucho says something about love story and Jerry Maguire. It wasn't a no love story. It's absolutely a romance movie. The movie ends with Jerry getting the girl. And the, cool, you but had the whole, the whole movie the whole movie is not strictly around the romance. No whole movie is strictly around the romance. Yeah, it's just, I don't call it a romance movie. It is though. a romance movie, Tony. I'm going to tell the people the plot. A it's, sports, he's a sports agent, agent. Yes. Oh, now. Okay, so now you know the plot. <laughs> <laughs> a Think sports a, agent gets. I had to go back and remember it. He he gets like fired or he quits from like his sports job. Like Starts one of one shit. of the other guys like steal swoops in and steals someone from him or, or something weird like that. Basically, he loses his job and he's the top sports agent, but he he leaves the company he's working for, and then he tries to get other people to quit with him. Only one employee quits with him. This woman. This woman throughout helps him build up his sports agency again and he's trying to like sign players and all this stuff and he's going through all this stuff basically just trying to get a success story that's cuba Gooden jr is the character that the only person he manages to sign and he gets him a good he's contract a and he gets paid and <laughs> yeah, all of that stuff yeah cuba's like I the just, biggest sports star in the world or whatever is he a football player no what? he wasn't a big sports star he was there he was about to get dropped because of his injuries and is, is that his what bad it, attitude is and, that what it was i thought he was like the biggest name it's been so long since i watched that nah, movie. Dude. the biggest name he had him but then he backstabbed him he went with the other guy mm. he's like the white texas dude or something the the point of it is the woman is with him all throughout they start up a romance they stop a romance they flirt with the idea of starting it up again and ultimately he he they get married but then he's not with her no more and then at the end 
they decide to actually get back together. It's a fucking romance movie. That the movie is wanting to tell this love story and using the sports agent drama as the vehicle to to get these two people together. That's the here, whole so what movie. You, here's what you're my, telling me: go, the go Office it. episode is based off of Jerry Maguire when he starts the new the new printing company, the paper company. <laughs> I don't know if it's based off Jerry Maguire, but that's how it kind of goes down. Where he's like, who's with me? And nobody leaves with him. And then Pam's like, I- I'm with you. And she leaves with him. Like, they, I'm a, I would imagine that Jerry Maguire was an inspiration for that episode. You know, the most surprising thing to me about Tony's list is as a man that is currently sitting in front of three Star Wars decorations on his wall, there was nary oh, yeah. a single nary nary a Star one. Wars. Yeah. Oh, yeah. though. I respect it. Star Wars is difficult because my pick would have been episode one, and Pucha hates episode one. <sighs> That's See? insane. Look at his face. That is episode a wild one is your pick. favorite one. That yeah. is wild. Not, well, the not, Phantom, like, it's, uh, the it's Phantom my, it's, Menace. I can watch that back to. I can watch that any day of the week, no problem. Because that's where my favorite characters was born. Jar Jar Binks. Oh yeah, for Jai Jai, sure. For sure. No, nigga, the Phantom Menace, Darth Maul. Yeah, that's Everett's favorite Sith too, which is okay, but he literally has the least amount of character out of any of the characters. Which they need to, they need to fucking come up with a show with just him in it. Like this I think is bullshit. I think Boba Fett had less character development than him <laughs> until they gave that until they did that Boba Fett show. Yeah, nah. they nah. talk so much about they Boba Fett. Movies. They, talk, they, they create talk a, a character. They talk a them. little bit about Boba Fett. They're like no disintegrations, and that's like <laughs> the big <laughs> character development is like, oh shit, this sure. guy disintegrates people. <laughs> you see that he was capable of catching um, Han Solo. <laughs> he snuck onto the ship, and you could see like you know the little things. I agree with you. Boba Fett also has very little character development, but Darth Maul. Nobody knows what he's about. Nobody even knows who he is. Nobody even knows that the Sith are back. He's mm-hmm. just got a red face and horns. That's all yeah. he's got. Mm-hmm. That's fair. Yeah. If I would have picked any Star Wars movie, it would have been part of the whole milk toast bullshit anyway. So. No, actually, I, I don't. I think it would have been a really out of nowhere pick to go with one of the prequel ones because people generally, <laughs> people generally hate those movies. Yeah, that's but it weird. went with there, the, the there modern has, trend. There has been some like modern, like uh, some late, some like recent, like re modern trend, re like romanticizing of those movies. Though, like there are some people that are really like going to bat and talking about how those movies are underrated, which is a wild take to me. I think we need to drive Tony through old movies and show him that old cinema is oftentimes vastly superior to new movies. The look of the movies may not be that amazing in comparison. But it brings to the classicness of it, I yeah. guess. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like watching The Warriors is a little hard at the time. And I love The Warriors. That's a good movie, too. Yeah. But it's like, it I just, love the you feel the age. It, it feels dated. 2001, for sure. you don't feel that age. 2001, what is it? 69 or 79? If it's 69, I'll throw up. Oh my God, it's 68. <laughs> Yo, go watch this movie, David. 1968. <laughs> Your mind is going to be blown at the effects. Here's a here's one that's gonna ruffle some feathers. What is something you see as toxic, but other people won't? Um, Pucho, I'm right, actually I got interested. two. Oh, right, here we go. The first one I've already kind of talked about, but I find gift giving to be very toxic. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want nobody to give me gifts. I don't want the idea of. People expecting a gift in return. I don't want. Well, it's my birthday. I need. I, I feel like gifts are for children. On the heels of my birthday upcoming. I feel like gifts are for children. I feel like you give children gifts. You, kids, you know, the kids deserve to be extra happy. I love how he feels attacked right now. <laughs> I'm gonna give. Fucking I'm gonna give to, uh, Doey a copy of the Ratatouille game so he can record some gameplay footage. Oh, the Ratatouille game. I'll take it. That's a I'm terrible gift. You should be gift. appreciative. You, you were talking about man. playing this fucking Ratatouille this game. I'll take it. Like, he's going to return that shit later. Um, 
Do you want to go for two or you want to wait for everybody to get one? Let's do a round. All right, dog. Give me hit me with the hit me with your toxic trait thing. I have to think about it. Next person who I, let me okay, go. I, I, I got one. Uh positivity. This oh. like only good vibes. This like uh I am optimistic all the time. I, I don't I don't like it. I find it a little I need a little negative in my life to feel like I'm actually being a well rounded person. So like this upbeat, happy all the time, only good vibes. I got, I got some issues with that. It kind of ruffles me. It feels like uh, someone's living in a fantasy world, if that's like their entire like philosophy on life. It's maybe a little cynical of me. I I get that, but I I also I like I'm cool with people being upset, being sad, having the full gamut of of feelings. Mm-hmm. But I also don't want your feelings to impact my feelings. I feel like that's where a lot uh, of it comes from. Like you ever see when people are in a bad mood and they're just stomping around the house and they're just complaining and doing all this stuff? It's like it starts to like eat at you. Like you're like, yeah. what do I need to do? Like you seem upset. Like is there a way that I can help you or you just you're fine. Like, I don't know. It's just, I don't know. I feel like most of the time people want to be helped and mm-hmm. they don't really vocalize it. So then when I see people like that, I feel like I have this duty to help them. And so I wish people vocalize, yo, I'm mad. There's nothing you could do. I don't even want you to do anything about it. I'm just going to be pissed off moving around. Be like, cool. I'll just go back to my own thing. And I could vibe with that. But. I, I don't like people being upset and me wondering, is there something I could do? Is there something I should do? Like pa- I Passive aggression is one of the worst things in the world. Uh, like people that slam doors like when they're upset. Like you go to your room and you slam the door or something. Or you open up the fridge and you slam it shut because you want everyone to know you're upset. I don't like it. I don't think this is like, I don't think this counts as something that only I think is toxic. Because I think everyone thinks that's toxic. But come into a room, you start breathing. <sighs> Oh my God! The sigh, the the full body, the full lung sigh. <laughs> you kind of took one from me, Mateo, but luckily your boy has another one uh-huh. in the bag. Attention seeking. I fucking don't understand that shit. I hate that trait. That's the most toxic fucking thing. That's- Look at me, guys. That- Look. That's a good one, actually. But you know what's more important? Don't forget to like and subscribe and share our video. <laughs> Don't forget that. Look at that bullshit. That's what I'm saying. Like, I hate the, the. It's like we're all doing something, and it's like, oh, but you, like, I did this even better. It's like, yeah, okay, buddy. Fuck out of here. Don't give a damn. Yeah, I um, I will piggyback off of that. I love no, when you have someone. To have your own. No, 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 no. Piggyback I'm piggybacking off, off of yours. I it's think it's funny when people go to places like the Grand Canyon and they take a picture. And the point of to take a picture is to see the Grand Canyon, right? Mm-hmm. And then they place themselves in front of the picture. <laughs> and then it's like, why? Like, I get it. You want people to know you were standing there at the grand canyon but for me it's a little bit like oh look at this beautiful view and me (laughs) (laughs) i could swear you got pictures of you taking the beautiful pictures and you're in the picture everybody does it but i'm just saying sometimes um like you will see it in concerts everyone has their phone out nobody's actually enjoying the concert everyone's trying to get the best recording of the concert oh my god and i find that and, and and here's the trick to it. I'm not clicking on your concert footage video that you recorded <laughs> yeah. on your cell phone. I can't hear anything that's happening. All I hear is just loud bass and you're going, check it out, guys. And when somebody <laughs> when somebody goes live at a concert, like, why are you doing this? Yeah, hey, like, mama, just, just, this just stop doing it. I'm not clicking that. I'm not watching that. I don't care. <laughs> Yo, facts. I might have two more, Pooch. They Go think, ahead, Pooch. They think they're fucking killing it, too. They they really think they're killing it. They're like, oh, man, I got so many views. It's so cool. Just, just real quick before we go to Pooch. I'm not defending that shit, but maybe those people want you to enjoy, their, want you to live in happiness with them at the moment that they're doing that. I wish people just would saying. just enjoy the moment. And maybe like, maybe they are. They want to share ticket. the moment. 
Don't share it. Enjoy it by yourself. Go ahead, Poot. I'm kind of with, though. People taking pictures and video of things that... There already exists a thousand better pictures of this thing. And, <laughs> you know, it's like, what are you doing? I, I don't, the Putting yourself in the picture, I think it's hard. You want to show your family and friends that you were somewhere. Or later you want to reminisce on a memory you had. And maybe being in the picture helps a little bit. I, I exist and here I am. It's a big hole. All right. This one might be a hot take. Saying bless you. When people sneeze. <laughs> oh shit! It's like, why? What are we doing here? I I always what happens? All right, let me. I sneeze and then someone says bless you. Now I gotta thank them. Sometimes you sneeze two, three times. Are they supposed to bless each sneeze? Am I supposed to thank them every time? What am I even thanking them for? And then Appear- the flip is, I don't like to say bless you, so I don't. And everybody looks at me like I'm rude, like. I just sneezed. Why didn't you say bless you? Like, you're a lot. You're fine. I, what, are, what are we doing here? Like, As, can we just? I just want to make believe that the sneeze never happened and everybody lives. Or somebody's just like, oh, here's a napkin, or some. I don't know. <laughs> like, but what? what? Yeah, no, I be. get it. I get it. As a, non- really weird. as a non-religious man, I always feel weird about saying bless you when someone sneezes. It's like, bless you feels weird. Gesundheit is weird, too. That's German. Why am I saying German after someone, someone sneezes? Like, I'm, I don't get caught up in that part of it because mm-hmm. it's like we have a lot of things that are religious that are just embedded in our, our culture. That's, I mean, like that we thing call that, people good Samaritans. That's you, straight out of the Bible. You get scared right. and you say, oh, God. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Right? I still as, say, oh, my God. I, yeah. like, I, don't, I, don't I think know. as as like a single man, I think I will say bless you to every single woman that sneezes. I got to be honest. Bless you, my Bless you, my love. It's your simp. Bless you. Simp. <laughs> don't be simping. I think that for You're me. you single, you should simp. That's how you get, you know, you could get some women simping. I think that for me, like, I think it is really toxic when people don't recognize just how strong Abraham Lincoln was. Did you know that he could deadlift 1,300 pounds? No way. This is a fact? 1,300 pounds, dude, on the bar. (laughs) What is the world record deadlift? Yeah, what's, that's what I want to hear first. I'll, I'll look that up while someone else goes. Ton, I just want to hear ton. the topic. I don't want to hear this shit from three How many topics pounds ago. you said? 1,300 said, uh, 1, 1, 1, so pounds. The world record deadlift by Aleski Novikov from Jesus. the Ukraine. And he won 2020's World's Strongest Man. I just want to. 1,185 pounds. Holy so that means shit, Abe, that's... honest Abe got him by a buck 15. Oh shit! That means Abe? it's actually you could actually do this. Abe? No, nobody no, in the I world has deadlifted no, more than thirteen hundred. No, no, I'm saying Abe could have done it if, if somebody yeah, made it possible. up to eleven. Guinness, Guinness didn't exist back yeah, then. Yeah, Abe, Abraham Lincoln said he did it, and he never told a lie. Therefore, he lifted thirteen hundred pounds, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess that I is true. If he said it, who said it though? That's what you got to find out. <laughs> he was I'm a ve- he was always ready for a dick measuring contest. This guy, he's the one that mastered. Mm-hmm. No, that's what I'm saying. He's <laughs> like he had a he great is... beard, and he was six four, and he I had the known, tallest hat. I wouldn't say all that. He saw some dudes. He just was carry- trumping everybody left and right. No Bro. one had a taller hat than him. <laughs> Nobody was taller. Nobody could lift the heavier chicken coop. Is that no the pil- one could deadlift. Is that more. where the, the hat came shoes? from? He was walking down the street. He saw someone taller than him, and he was like, "Nah, this can't <laughs> stand." <laughs> Get the taller hat. He went to the haberdashery and said, "I need your tallest hats." <laughs> but the pilgrim shoes also have like a heel to them too, right? <laughs> I think they might. I don't the know. Did people wear pilgrim shoes back then? I'm I'm like Abraham sure. is the one that came like up with it. Three hundred years removed from the pilgrims. <laughs> I'm sure the buckles were still the prevalent. Buckles, I do pick picture Abraham Lincoln with buckle shoes though. That yep. is how I picture him. 
<laughs> but uh, do you have another one or a double one? No, I don't. I don't. I don't have another one. All right. Um, oh. I don't know. I have to think. All right, I have one. Per- Unless oh. you want to go, Tony. Are you trying to cut the topic? Is that what's happening? No, it's me. That was my All turn. Right, cool. Go ahead. Well, then why are you volunteering just, people to take your what? turn? Just take your turn. This is the script. Creating the scripts. Yep. Just like you couldn't say the plot of Germany. People bringing up the fucking past. <laughs> That's Grave digging <laughs> sons of bitches. Right when I brought it up. <laughs> Grave digging sons of bitches. <laughs> I'm sick of that shit. We could be having a conversation. Normal. Do you feel so type of way? Three years ago, blah, blah. You know who's a motherfucker who does it a lot? The bald one. The great one, Pucho. And he only does it because he wants to be petty. Why? Why does anybody feel the need to dig up the past? We're not well, fact-checking nobody here. Archaeologists, If it's contextually relevant, then yeah, Those are the worst the people, past. Mateo. You said archaeologists <laughs> and historians are the worst I'll take. People. I'll take. <laughs> <laughs> they do nothing but dig up bullshit. Leave that shit back there with the worm from 46,000 years ago. Bringing that shit back. No one wants that shit. That worm just wants to have babies, dude. That's going to be. That's I gonna feel take like if it's world. relevant, it, it should be brought up. I'm not one of them people that'll be just like, Tony got me upset one day, and then I brought up a time in the past where he also got me upset. It's like, that That doesn't. That's not relevant. Damn. Doughboy does that. Doughy does that. I don't do that. Doughy does that. Doughy does that. Doey loves it. Doey be bringing, <laughs> Doey be grabbing from the he, webs of discrepancies he of the pet, and he'll he'll just yeah he'll create a, a situation. But it's a master form. Yeah. Go ahead, Pooch. Give me your uh, other one. National anthems before sporting events. For what? What's wrong with that? We're about to watch a fight tonight. Mm-hmm. Spence versus Crawford. Two mm-hmm. Americans. In America, and they will play the national anthem before. Are they going to play it twice? Each of them gets one. No, they won't. They're not going to play. They'll be nuts <laughs> with two different singers. Or what if it's the same singer twice? That would be even worse. But she, but she does it in two different tones. Like she tries to switch it up. <laughs> no, of course, of course, Tony eats it up because they play it before every football game like a bunch of pricks. That has I don't understand do it. it. It's stupid. They it's do it in basketball. They do it in hockey. They do it in all fucking, almost every single. They sport. don't play the national anthem be t- before every foot basketball game. Do you? Uh, what? If, yeah. If you, when you turn any basketball game on throughout the it's year, it's already passed. It's already they already done pass by. If you got the NBA TV, they're playing the damn and national anthem. Then that's dumb as hell. I know, like in the playoffs, then th- those things happen more. But in every single football event, there's the national anthem, and it's on TV every time. It don't be only, passing. They I, make you watch that shit. I only noticed it because that time I got tickets for my birthday surprise, we got there and they were playing national anthem. I'm like, yo, do they always do this? Because I never see this on TV. Only Dope. playoffs and shit, like you say. Doey, you're given the power to change the national anthem right now to any song oh. that you want. What song are you choosing? Something from Yeet. Juveniles back that ass. Something from Yeet. Yeah. I was thinking is gonna be our I was thinking my humps. It's provocative. It gets the people going. Mm-mm. I'd love to see all the white people listening to juveniles back that ass. Up. <laughs> they love it. That's the is one. That, they that's love juvenile home. song? Or is yeah. that back yeah. that thing up? Is it back that thing up? The the radio the clean version. version. Yeah. Oh, they would Back definitely that thing. they would definitely play the radio ed version too instead of the actual version. <laughs> you a fine mother fudger. Back that. What thing if they up. play Big Gay Al's version of that song? You ever listen to that, Dewey? Mm-mm. Oh no. wow! Look at that! Look at Pooch with a little bit of South Park knowledge. Dewey doesn't have Big Gay Al yeah. dropped his own "Back That Ass Up." It's That's very awesome. gay. Which <laughs> is in character big. with Big Gay Al. But. Yeah. He's big and he's gay, and his name is Al. That's fair. Those are like all three things about him. <laughs> That's the only important things. But yeah, national anthem, dumb as fuck. I, I think like, all right, Olympics, um, international sporting situations, cool. Let y'all countries want to like, y'all, y'all, you know, flexing where y'all from and stuff, whatever. Play the national anthems. But like, yo, every... The Star Spangled Banner. Every time I want to watch a sport, it's like, come on, dude, really? I I, 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 I got one. 
people who are sober that constantly throw it in your face. Oh, how come you got to drink so much? Oh. So just throwing shit in people's faces then. Mm-hmm. It's like yeah, a, I it's, yeah, not, but drugs. you're talking about the drinking thing in particular, right? It's like the people that, that uh, quit smoking cigarettes and then they become the most anti-smoking person around. <laughs> They're damn near pulling the cigarette out of your mouth to throw it on the ground to tell yeah, you how bad dude. it is for you. It's like, thanks. I had no idea cigarettes are bad for me. It's not like yeah. they put it on all the packages. <laughs> um, yeah, the worst is when you've had drinks mm-hmm. and maybe you get into an argument with somebody that's sober and then they're like, you're drunk. <laughs> that shit makes me want to. And you could be winning the argument. That shit makes me want to catch a charge right then and there. Like, that shit pisses me off. You're drunk. No, you're an asshole right now. You're being I, an asshole. Like, I love it because I think the only person I've seen hit Pucha with those, other than myself, is E and Lisi. I think we're the only two people that ever hit Pucha with that that I've witnessed. And it's the same reaction every time. <laughs> he sits there, and you can see his face just fucking becoming so angry. It, 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 usually, he'll tell me to just shut the fuck up. You don't know nothing, but other, you know, what his wife obviously has to tread carefully. But it's fucking hilarious. I love that reaction to Pucho. Pucho's facial reactions are priceless, people. Yeah, I really take that for granted. I'm one of the most sensible drunk people ever. Mo- uh, um, all right. I'll tell you this, I could get drunk and most people wouldn't tell I'm drunk. I'll go in and have a conversation and you could tell Tony, I've been drunk with you like a thousand times. But I'm just saying, strangers, they wouldn't be able to tell I'm drunk. Do y'all I know there plenty be- of people that'll come in all loopy and shit. Then it's like, yeah, if somebody want to say they're drunk, go for it. If I'm looking like that, call me drunk. Say, so maybe you shouldn't be doing to, this right To now. our audience out there, if you want to play this game in person uh, to figure out whether Pooch is drunk or not, Swing by PAX West. We'll be there mm. soon. <laughs> you can play with there both of us. Drunk or sober, when you, you, you decide. You're going to get the answers you're looking for. <laughs> um, Yeah, one more and then it's over with here. Um, The, the over sorry people. Sorry for things you didn't even do. I hate that shit. Like, why are you saying sorry? Did you break my shit? Why are you saying sorry, bro? My bad. Why are you doing this? I Those are the people I hate the most. It's like the um, you getting joked on or getting cracked on and somebody laughs a little bit louder than you now focusing on him. That's the same type of fucking person. Like, fuck me and Pucha yeah, arguing I, and nobody I, wants to tripping. say sorry. Why are you saying? No, how am I tripping? Because... Somebody, your mom dies. I didn't kill her, but I might t- say sorry. Like I'm sorry. You're, like I feel for your situation. That's what somebody's saying. They're not like. Oh, uh, that's different. Th- no, like if someone's bullying you, and I'm like, yo, I'm sorry that happened to you. What? What are you saying sorry for? Did you bully me? It's like, <laughs> nah. You just look like you're having a hard time. You know, it's just it's a polite thing to say. It's a gesture. I commiserate. I want you to know that I fuck with you, and I'm sorry that you're someone going says through. bless you. That's also polite, but you you find that it toxic. is polite. <laughs> it is, but it, it's weird. It's a pressure. It's very different. It's all pressures. It's, Man, it's when a, people say bless me, I don't say nothing to them. But don't say some bullshit to me if I don't bless you. It's holding the door all <laughs> over again, dude. It's the holding the door conversation. As always, ladies and wait, gentlemen. Wait, wait, you, no, I got, I got something, Tony. I got, I oh, got, got a gripe. One? I got a gripe. Uh, so oh, here's shit. this article that I was reading about how strong and tough was Abraham Lincoln, right? But oh, here's this response <laughs> where they talk about all these physical things that uh, Abraham Lincoln did. And it said, however, his real strength was his belief in America, the union, which he believed to be holding the Constitution and his ten. Na- it's dumb. Don't do that. <laughs> his real strength As- is he could deadlift 1,300 pounds. <laughs> As Mateo's wearing a, a red, white, and blue American Eagle shirt. <laughs> That's crazy. Political stance today, people. But as always, hit that share, follow, like, and subscribe button. You stuck with us through this whole entire episode, which you should, because we always do great episodes here. Thank you for one-upping yourself. We appreciate it.